Welcome to Blazing Gamer, and in this video, I will be going over NX and how I created a starter project for Angular, Electron, and NX. So, what basically is NX? So, NX is basically a dev tool, uh, just like your Angular CLI, which uh, helps you throughout your whole project. So, it generates components and services for you. It builds the projects for you and also actually creates the projects and similarly nx is also such a dev tool but it is not limited to angular it is for javascript in general so uh, you can use it for angular projects react projects web components and on the back end side you can create express or nest projects and also pure node and pure html css javascript project so currently it doesn't have official support for view but since you can create plain javascript projects you can add view on your own also nx follows the monorepo pattern which basically means that you have multiple apps and libraries in a single git repository which actually makes it easier to manage and that's how uh, google microsoft and other big enterprise javascript development happens and with nx you also can easily set up modern dev tools like Cypress, Jest, and Prettier easily. So whenever you create a NX workspace, it will ask you which uh, test suite to use, like Cypress or Ka Protractor or Jest or Kama, and it will uh, automatically set it up for you. And uh, Fireship IO actually has a great video on NX, and I'll just add the link to the description so you can go there and watch that. So I created this uh, NGX Tron project, which is basically an Angular, Electron, and NX starter project. So it's open source and you can use it freely. It's under MIT license. I'll add the link to this project also. So I'll be going over the basics of the project and how you may get started and use it. So whenever you create an NX workspace, you will get something, uh, the folder structure similar to this. So you'll have a .vs code folder which will just have your vs code configuration. So in this case, this just contains the recommendation of extensions for vs code. The Angular console is just a GUI to access your Angular console and NX console. So you can easily generate new components and projects from here. So as you can see, I can create libraries, I can create angular application and classes and it's just a gui for your whole console then you can have tasks also so these are your npm scripts that have been written and if you are connected uh, yeah you'll need a novel account and you can watch the dependency diagram of how your libraries and your applications are connected now nx is smart it will only build the projects and libraries that actually need to be updated so Going back over the project structure, uh, we have the extension. So we have ng template, uh, which is just uh, you know new more intelligence templates for that. Then the prettier plugin and the type tslint plugin, which is just you know more dev tools for VS Code. So the project structure that nx generates is uh, we have this apps folder, which actually contains a uh, individual uh, projects so you the browser is an angular project browser e2 is a cypress test runner electron is a basic node type script project then you can have much more projects also to so to do add so in nx you add capabilities to create new types of projects so if you just go back here uh, getting started so yeah so you can add capabilities for angular so your web uh, is your pure HTML JavaScript projects. And you can add React capabilities, Node, Express, and Nest. And similarly, you can create apps for these um, projects, which will do your basic scaffolding. And and this way only I created this Node project, which houses the Electron code and this Angular project. Then we have the disk folder which basically has all the output of the built files of your Electron and Angular. So the lib folder, so if you can actually create shared libraries of uh, like pure TypeScript libraries, pure JavaScript libraries or Angular libraries or NPM modules. So 
that will that way you can have a uh, good code reusability so you can have a library of interfaces which will be used both by electron and angular so if you have a lot of I ipc going on you can have interfaces that will be reused similarly if you have a back end and you want some code to be shared between the back end and the front end shared libraries can help you with that then we have your tools uh, which has your schematics so if you create your own schematics for your project um, like if you're going in a big development and you need something that needs to be generated again and again you can create your own schematics and the builders that i have added so this is just the post installers which just configure the uh, angular webpack script to allow node integration for electron so this project is inspired by maximigris if i'm pronouncing the name wrong i'm sorry but maximigris has a electron angular start project so it is really inspired by that and i'll try to keep it similar to that only um, but this uses the nx console so that's the project structure and the main thing down the that's left now is the build scripts that i have so to when you start the project like you'll clone this and you just need to do an npm install which will add all the dependencies now that may take some time this project has around 900,000 dependencies then to start the projects you you'll just run npm start so this will serve the angular app on localhost 4200 and the electron will wait till the port is up and running and it will uh, lo load the web app from uh, 4200 into the electron view so the reason doing this way is because um, angular itself has an hot reload functionality into it and now if we load the view from a, a web page because electron can load the view from urls as well as html files so when you load it from localhost 4200 you automatically get the front end hot reloading which uh, saves a lot of development time and similarly we, i have uh, for electron also i am using the electron reload package which will allow you to reload the electron project also in hot reloading and other scripts are the uh, ng serve script which serves the angular app on localhost 4200 so there is one thing you need to keep in mind is that which build is being served so there are two builds the electron build and web build so that actually depends on which post build, post installer has been used so the web build won't have node integration and it can run in browsers but the electron build won't be able to run in browsers so if you are using any node modules that aren't browser supported like the fs module so you need to use the electron build and that build will only run in the electron view but not in the browser view so in this sub web actually serves the browser build on the local host the electron serve just starts the electron uh, to wait on local host and electron serve local serves the electron app but with the production build of angular app so when you do a production build of angular app it all compiles down to javascript css and html files which will be stored in the dist folder inside apps there will be a browser folder which will have the production build of angular so electron local just loads these files now electron local won't have hot reload for the browser the front end code because those are generated using the production build so these are just the start scripts which rely on these build scripts so the post install will happen anytime npmi is run so depending upon which build script you want the web build or electron build the post install will work the npm build just builds the electron and angular app for electron mode so it will just add it to the disk folder uh, then there are two build configurations also and there's the dev and production builds which will just take because these configurations are defined in the angular json so whichever will be used you want to make the build of you can do and build electron just builds the electron project uh, which is the this project and similarly we have test scripts the test web runs the just test runner for the browser project and test electron runs the just runner for the electron project and e2 is the, the cypress test runner so you can add, add your own test so the test runners are fully configured you just need to go ahead and add your tests 
then we have documentation script so i have configured compadoc also to generate documentation so compadoc is basically a documentation generator for angular projects so it works with nest also and pure javascript projects also till some degree it can work so you can actually run these scripts so if i do a web documentation generation so it will create a documentation so basically all these compadocs need is the path the ts config of the application so if i give it the path of this ts config it will generate documentation for whatever is under this ts config so that's how this generates and it outputs in the documentation folder and you get a nice documentation of the module inside the components inside the styles the dom tree if it has any and everything so that can be helpful no oh, like it's pretty helpful if you want and other than then we have the packaging scripts which basically package for three platforms linux mac and windows and this uses the electron builder which whose configuration is this in the electron builder file and you can add your icons in the three configurations if you want so electron builder is nice but and i have tested it for linux and windows platform but not the mac platform so if i just show you how the project looks when we started so if i run npm start so this will do the serving on local host and wait for the local host to come alive and start electron for that so these are basically the scripts that you will be using and you can always go ahead and add your own scripts in the package.json and one more thing is that all the dependencies are added as dev dependencies because electron won't add the dev dependencies in the final asr file but dependencies will be added in the asr file so if you don't want your asr file to bloat you need to keep track of which dependencies will be needed at runtime and not and since we are using angular which basically bundles the dependencies you don't really need any of the dependencies in the runtime and so the only thing that you will need globally installed to use this startup project will be the angular cli because nx depends on the angular cli and other than that you won't need anything all the dependencies will be added from npm install so the application has started serving on localhost uh, now the electron build is going so electron build finishes and we start the electron application so as you can see this is the basic so this is the basic output that you will have if you create an angular application through nx and the electron build is also working and you have your dev tools of electron and everything so that's all that i have for this starter project if you and it's open source you can freely contribute to it and i really appreciate all the help that will come to the start project and if you actually make some good applications out of it do share with me and i'll add a video of them or in the readme file so thank you for watching and please do leave a like and i'm also going to start a tutorial series on angular electron and all all the nx development workflow so if you have any ideas on what application we should build so i was thinking about a database viewer but that's too common but if you have any other ideas or we need some like a way we need to build some kind of an application just do leave those ideas in the comments and i'll go through it thank you for watching